Hey guys, it's Cool Scratch Tutorials, and today I'm going to be teaching you all the basic blocks you will need to know as a beginner to Scratch. Once we go to the Scratch website, we're going to want to go up here and click the Create button to create our first project. Once we've done that, we can see there's many different sections to the screen. To the right here, we have the display screen. Everything you code will end up in this screen. Up here is the green go button, and here is the red stop sign. Here is character selections. If we go down here, you can choose a character that's built into Scratch itself. I will click the bear. You can also draw your own sprite and upload your own sprite. Sprite is basically characters too. Each character has its own costumes and code. What that means is basically I can drag in a block here and when I click on the bear sprite, it will not be there because it's the code is only directed to one sprite. If we click on costumes, you can see that Scratch Cat here has two different costumes. We'll talk more about that later. This is where you get all your blocks that you need to code. There are many different blocks and you can scroll down or click on the left here to go to each different category. Everywhere on the display screen has a certain X and Y value. So if I drag Scratch Cat up here, we can see that the X and Y axis changed. We can drag him down here and we can also see that it changed as well. The very middle is zero, zero. So we want him to zero and then I'm gonna select that and zero and he will go to zero, zero. We're gonna talk about motion blocks right now. Motion blocks make the character or sprite move. The move 10 steps, if we click it, he will move 10 steps or 10x. We can go down to the change x block and when we click on it, it will do the same exact thing. We can click on it and then we can change it to whatever value we want. Let's say we want him to move 30x at a time. So when I click on him, he will be moving 30x every time. This can also be negative as well. So I want him to move negative 25 he will move to the left instead of the right. The set X block is almost the same as the change X, except that it will just teleport him to the X instead of changing X. So if we want him to go to X 100, he will go there right away. Same as X, there's also Y. It's the same thing, except Y is vertical while X is horizontal. We can change the value here to 40, when I click on him, he'll move up 40, and I can do negative 40, and when I click on him, he'll move down 40. Y. Same for the set. Let's say I want him to go to Y90, so when I click on him, he'll go to Y90. Next is the events block. This is basically the starting block, and it will tell, ev like, it will tell the character when to do something. If we drag in when green flag click button, and then we do maybe move 10 steps. Every time I go up here and click the green flag, he will move 10 steps. Next in events is the key space press. This is very important for making controls and how to make characters move. So let's say I'm going to select right arrow and when I go up to the motions category, we'll change X by 10. So I can just hold, I'll drag him over here, and every time I press the right arrow, he will move. I can also hold it as well. There's also when sprite clicked. Basically, whenever you click him, we can make it do whatever we want. So let's say we want him to turn 15 degrees when we click on him. I click When I click on him, he will turn 15 degrees. In the control sections, we, there's the forever loop, which will make something forever happen. So if we drew, draw in, move 10 steps, and then maybe if on edge bounce, the edge is the edge of the background. When I click on it, he will keep on moving and bouncing. You see how he turns upside down? We can go here and set rotation style left, right. Now when I click on him, he will always be looking straight up and will not go upside down. That is the forever loop. Next to the control is the repeat and wait one second. So maybe I'll drag this out here and repeat 10 and so we have 
When we click on it, it will repeat 10, move 10 steps, then wait a second, then move 10 steps, then wait a second, and it will do that 10 times. So I'll click on it, you'll move 10 steps, you'll move 10 steps, and you'll move 10 steps 10 times. There's also the if blank then block. We can drag in different up, we can drag in different sensing blocks like touching color, and let's just pick a random color. We'll do move 10 steps. We can see that he isn't touching that color, so he is not moving 10 steps. We can put many blocks together and build them up. And I made this very simple line of code. So when I click the green flag, he will just go crazy. Thank you all for watching. I really hope you enjoy. And if you did, hit that subscribe and like button. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.